Hey guys, before we start the video, I just want to let you guys know that I do apologize for not uploading yesterday. Um, I had to upload a, like, I had a video ready to upload, but I just didn't have a chance to upload it because everything was, like, because of everything that was going on and not to mention, I was doing some grinding to keep my mind, you know, off of everything that's going on right now, but... <sighs> To pretty much sum up the uh, situation that's going on right now, um, we are like we've we, we lost all the pups, and two of the other dogs are sick, which is the mother and the uncle of the pups. The original three dogs that we had before we got all the other dogs are still healthy. They're still eating. So, I don't know, but... <sighs> all I know is, is that... Like, we've at first we thought it was a disease. It was We thought it was the Parvo virus. But then... Later, we learned they were poisoned, and the reason, like the reason why we know they were poisoned, is because we checked their feces. Yeah, I know, disgusting. We checked their feces, and it smelled very much like motor oil or uh, like AC fluid or coolant fluid or whatever. Pretty much something that goes into your car. Which, obviously, if you drink it, you're going to get sick. Well, someone came down here and thought it was a good idea for a revenge clan to poison our dogs. With that very same substance. Now, I have my suspicions. I, I have my suspicions that I don't know who it is. I'm not going to say any names because I don't want any drama on this channel. But all in all, they poisoned our dogs just to get back at us. And I'm going to let you guys know, I'm my mind's not in the right place right now. Like, there's, like, I'm still depressed about the dogs dying, but... That that's overshadowed, overshadowed by the amount of anger that I have for that person right now. So, anyways, guys, um, in a few minutes the live stream is going to be starting for the Legends Limited Ultra Instinct Goku and Kieran. And I'm gonna just like I'm, I'm gonna just try to keep my mind off of everything else just so that way we can try to get hyped for this because you know I am hyped I am like excited for these units to come out because like I, I, I like I predicted it I pretty much wanted these units to come out but it's like with everything going on it's kind of hard to stay hyped about it but I'm gonna do my best to be hyped about what's coming out. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop this right here so that way we can get into the video. I need to get onto the live stream so that way we can watch it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty much a few minutes long. They're still cooking food for Thanksgiving. You know, we managed to pull something off for Thanksgiving because we're going to phase two down here, so we can't go anywhere. So we decided to improvise. So... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. As, hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do because like, I'm, I'm really hoping that I can just sit here and be hyped about it. I'm really hoping that this will take me out of this anger, angry, depressed state I'm in right now. So, anyways, guys, we're gonna get right into it. I'll see you guys then. Yo, what's good YouTube? SSB Gokai here, and today guys, I have to go ahead and check and make sure that well, we're still getting the, um, the, um, 
um, like the uh, audio and stuff going, so I had to check that. But let's go ahead and jump into this. So, uh, if you guys saw like the beginning of the video, which one like you you have if you clicked on this video, yeah, it's um. <laughs> We're just gonna put all that stuff aside and we're gonna hop right into this. So, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and hop into this reaction. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Reveals and Stuff. I'm the producer of Dragon Ball Legends, Toshi. Today, I'm going to discuss the large scale event that is starting soon. We're going to call it Legends Festival. First off, I'd like to express my gratitude to all our players, all our fans who have continued to support Legends to this day. We're thrilled to be able to come to this point with everybody's support. Well, obviously, we had our ups and downs, but we want to make sure that everybody is happy and content with what we're bringing today. Our last event of 2020, Legends Festival, is going to repay all our gratitude towards the players that have been supporting Legends up until this point towards New Year's. So I hope everybody looks forward to it and is hyped about it. So let's jump right in and start by looking at some of the stuff that Legends Festival will be bringing to you guys. Daisy's probably just First slapping up, me in the face saying, Daddy's hyped about it. You gotta be hyped. Be hyped. That we have prepared you for waited for this. Now be hyped about it. So... Once Legends Festival starts, log in each day and get 10 consecutive summon tickets. Right, so... These tickets allow you to play consecutive summons once a day for 10 days. For a total of 10 consecutive is summons. Is this what we get for the, um... Like, is this just the, uh, the characters. daily one? Or is, uh, like, is this the one where we get for the, uh... Crystals we spent? On the amount of chrono crystals you use okay, no, this one is. Period, you'll receive... Thanks All right. for your support summon tickets that you can use so on the Thanks for your support sure ticket summon. Yep. The summon features characters and, uh, like super full power Saiyan 4 go. Goku. Trunks, I'm just making sure we're still recording, guys. And Fusion Zamasu Omega Shenron that appeared during the second anniversary, so don't miss this chance to get your hands on them. The login bonuses have been powered up as well. You can get up to 400 Chrono Crystals and a total of 46 thanks for your support summon tickets from this login bonus. You'll also receive one 40 million users worldwide celebration medal each day. Now, we you already got in. like a good bit of those. We're just waiting on the exchange shop shout, to as well as drop. PvP messages. So this is the perfect opportunity for those who have missed out in the past. Of course, you can exchange them for other great items as well. So look forward to those. So we got new adventures too. Acquire so. job requests by playing certain events and PvP during the event. You can get 40 million users worldwide celebration medals and festival balloons as adventure rewards. So by we can just exchange those for the, the tickets. Mission, you can get your hands on amazing rewards like thanks for your support summon tickets as well as sparking guaranteed assist tickets that give you access to a special summon with one guaranteed sparking rarity character when you collect five tickets. And speaking speaking of those tickets, like, are we getting all the units that, like, like, I noticed that we have all the, like, the units that came out for, like, the second anniversary. There's Kefla, there's Gotenks, um, you know, all those units. But are we just, like, are we getting all the units, like, you know, like, the uh, Transforming Vegito, the, uh, the Broly and Chilai, you know... You know, all those units, like, are we still, like, are we getting those on that banner? Or is that just, like, you know, it's just certain units that are included and everything else is just not included? I mean, I guess we'll find out whenever, um, whenever we, uh, hop in on that banner, whenever we get the tickets, because I spent a good bit of a... Uh, Chrono Crystals, like, especially, especially this year. Especially this year. So, but wait, no way we're not more. getting at Use least 100 tickets. This event where you can get or at least around that. Up to 30, thanks for your support to summon tickets. I don't know, well maybe we'll get over 100 tickets. Not only that, but you can get useful items, like the energy tanks. Pretty sure I spent tickets, enough. So oh my god, Spring Rant, chance. really? Chance to efficiently upgrade your characters and tackle okay, so this is basically the same uh, event and stuff from uh, second anniversary. For those who still haven't cleared it, and the EXP 
Zenny will also be increased. Training and adventure time periods will also be shortened. Use this opportunity to play through the main story and buff up your characters. Please check the in-game news for event time periods and further information. With Legends updated, we hope that all players, whether they like PvP or PvE, can enjoy all the contents we have prepared for them. Now let's also talk about some other campaigns that we have prepared for you. Those are probably Legends over Festival. since this was a stream like five hours ago, so... Yeah, I was asleep whenever this uh, went Festival, live, so... I wasn't able to on hop on it. Like, how, many, uh, how many viewers do we have on uh, this, by the way? Oof. So what, we're getting like 100, 200 CC? Yeah, that's um, that's unfortunate. 150 chrono crystals by retweeting and that's sharing unfortunate. the unfortunate. posts. Participate via the official Legends Twitter and Facebook accounts. Unless there was more people on the JP side of the stream. This is a participation event for all the players involved. This was also held during the second anniversary, and we believe it was a great success last time, so we want to make sure to do it again this time. Of course, we prepared some great rewards for everybody involved, so please check it out. The details will be revealed on the dedicated website in the upcoming days. Yeah, that's probably over by now. Mr. We will run a present campaign that's... where players can receive ah. original Legends goods, and Game participants will be randomly selected. Thing is not working with me right now. Prepared some great rewards. So, um, when does this start? Oh, it starts on 3 p.m. No, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. No, it's tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So, I think it's, like, sometime, like, late tonight, maybe. Like, I'll have to, like, check the uh, time zones and stuff like that. Just to be sure, but... Like, like we should be getting a... Like, I should get notified when they uh, tweet that, but... Just to make sure. That way I don't miss it. It's for everybody involved, so please check it out. Just wanted to Details will on that, be guys. revealed on the dedicated website in the upcoming Bro, I just want to see the unit tomorrow, man. Present campaign. We will run a present campaign where players can receive original Legends goods and participants will be randomly selected. Players who are selected will receive a prize featuring a print of the character of their choice. That's pretty dope. Details will be provided on the dedicated that is pretty website dope. when the Legends Festival event starts. Movies. From November 27th, JST, posts with the hashtag Dragon Ball Legends will have an emoji attached for a limited time only. We can't reveal exactly which emoji it will be, so make sure to tweet using hashtag DBLegends, hashtag once Legends Festival events starts to find out for yourself. Those are the campaigns that we're reviewing for today, but we have many other in plan, so keep an eye out on the official SNS and the designated website. Hope that you guys will enjoy this event, both in-game and out-of-game. And we'll also be hyped for the upcoming news that we have today. Now, of course, I know why everybody is here. You guys are all looking forward <laughs> to the new characters that are popping up. Oh my god, the he already knew. Of Dragon Ball Legends. And okay, here's so a glimpse of The dispo of in the top should be uh, extreme units, right? Yeah, that looks like it should be an extreme unit. That's pretty dope. We got our boy Dispo here. Oh, he's doing poses here. Yo. Bruh. That's pretty hot, dude. That's just disrespectful, I hope you dude. As I am. That's gotta be the ultimate attack right there. That's just disrespectful. First, let's take a look at Topo's abilities. Topo is a very solid... Alright, so... He, I, I'm pretty sure he should be um, an, an extreme unit. Alright, element blue, character tags, rival universe, the ability increases strike and blast defense, tag rival universe, or element blue. Main ability boosts any ally health and damage inflicted. Ultimate skill inflicts all allies with a attribute downgrade on hit. Boost damage inflicted when uh, f when faced with an enemy. I see. So, is it not an extreme unit? I mean, if it's a sparking, and that's pretty that's pretty dope. But um, you know, 
I, I'm pretty sure that I thought it was going to be an extreme unit. Unless they made it an extreme unit with an ultimate skill. Then that's something that's, like, like completely new. But, I don't know. His main ability can restore allies' health and boost their damage inflicted, amongst other effects that can be effective to support his team. His ultimate skill inflicts his enemies with attribute downgrade plus 30% to strike damage received on hit. Plus, he gets a boost in damage inflicted every time he faces an enemy, so he is capable of standing up to attacker characters if you know how to play his cards right. Next up is Dispo, the Pride Trooper's Blast-type attacker. He can draw cards when using a special skill, or upon landing a strike or blast attack, which just, allows him to read use a variety of moves. He has plenty Jiren. of useful abilities. Come on, just show Jiren, dude. His account is shortened by two as a default. He doesn't have... Uh, this spell doesn't have enough, damage so. inflicted by 80% when he enters the battlefield. His special skill arts boosts his arts card draw speed and his damage inflicted depending on the number of timer counts, which can make him a powerful and speedy fighter in the second half of battle. And lastly, we have Jiren. Bro, He's a look at Jiren, dude. Right. He's gonna be an element green character. Why is all the OP like units like a green unit? Like I don't understand that, dude. I, I don't understand why they're making all the OP units green. Like, come on, dude. Right. Character tags for all the universe. Universe eleven powerful opponent. I really hope they boost on uh, the powerful opponent tag. Uh, the ability three increases strike attack and defense. A rival universe or powerful opponent. Alright, so we can have like a powerful opponent team now. Uh, boost damage inflicted when battle starts. Special cover changes against uh, strike arts. Boost arts card draw speed when using any main ability. So I'm pretty sure he has an ultimate attack, but it just doesn't show it. But I'm pretty like sure there's an ultimate attack. Armor. He gets a boost in damage inflicted for plenty of firepower at the start of battle, plus he reduces the next damage sustained by 50%, and he has a cover change against strike arts, so he's not lacking in defense either. The combination of his ultimate skill and his arts card draw speed boost that activates when using his main ability is extremely powerful. When returning to standby, he gradually restores his own health, giving him the ability to keep fighting even when he's the last warrior standing, an ability fit for Jiren. Now, we also have one more clip for the beginning of Legends Festival, and it's going to be a promotional clip with all the participants coming from the fan base that is Dragon Ball Legends. Here it is. Bro. Fucking god damn it dude, notifications. I had it on do not disturb, but apparently it just ignores that. Bro, that looks like a they really did that, making it look like a goddamn spirit bomb. Yo. <laughs> I'm ending this. Whoa. That's the fucking LF, dude. What did I tell you guys? That that would be the freaking LF. Bandai Namco. Ultra Instinct sign. And he's a Goku purple unit. Here. He's a stable fighter that boasts a lot of strength in all regards. Dude, he's a purple unit, so he's got a freaking factor, element factor advantage against Jiren. 
Uh, character tags, Saiyan, Sun Family, and God Key. I didn't told y'all he was going to have God Key, but everyone says, Oh no, he doesn't use God Key. That's fucking God Key, dude. It's a God form. Alright, Z ability increases base blast and base blast and attack and defense of episode uh, Universe Survival Saga Tag God Key or Tag San. So he boosts three tags if you get him up to like I think uh, three stars. I mean not three stars, uh, six stars. New feature automatic evasion system. Automatic evasion system. Bates certain sen certain enemy attacks by depleting his unique gauge by depleting his unique gauge. Huh. Boosts inflicted damage and reduces damage received when the battle starts. Ultimate skill inflicts super massive damage. So he has like like just uh So when you get attacked, if you have a uh, like the main ability gauge, which I think that's what they're talking about. Like if you still have that gauge, you can use it, like you can use some of it to uh, do like an automatic dodge, so that's pretty awesome. That's pretty dope. His base stats are very high, but when the battle starts, his inflicted damage is boosted by 60% and his received damage is reduced by 20%. Well, I'm summoning this unit. I don't care Legends what anyone says. Have his very own automatic evading system. This evading system consists of unique gauge that is consumed by 30% in order to evade Unless there is, like, is a different, like, gauge, but I, moving or standing like, still. it's probably going to have, like, a different, like, gauge for the that still. That can inflict super massive damage, so he's a very easy character to play, even if you have just started the game. Don't miss out on this chance to try out his skills. Now, I hope that you guys are excited as I am with these characters. Bro, I have almost Dragon 15k now, let's in this Chrono up Crystals, with some and I'm gonna be wailing out on this freaking banner, dude. Signed, Goku. Over here. Dude, look at that. Dude, that's pretty that's pretty over fuck that's pretty fucking overpowered, dude. That is overpowered. Dude, I am getting this unit. I don't care what anyone says, I will have this unit. Look at that. That's all for today's reveals and stuff for Legends Festival. It Dude, went by so fast, I'm hyped but for I this. I want tomorrow to be here now. I want today to end so that way tomorrow can be here. You guys. Our team will be sure to bring more content for you guys to enjoy in the coming months and the coming Yo, years for Dragon Ball Legends. Of course, there's going to be many ups and downs. Like, of course, Toshi's going to save the most sure hype unit. For the and end. get back to you as soon as possible in these videos and stuff or reveals and stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it really and thank you for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. Bro. Alright guys, so that is the new units that are coming out. So if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like on this video and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you guys will know when I go and post this video up when I summon on this banner because I am going to go deep on this banner dude I am going to pull every unit or at least Jiren and Goku but yeah, dude, I'm I'm hyped for this. I'm hyped for this banner. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe and uh, turn on notifications. And make sure to leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys think of this banner. And what you think of, like, this event in general. So, anyways, see you guys tomorrow on the next video. Peace.